Minera Tres Valles is a mid-sized copper producer in the central Chile near the town of Salamanca in the Coquimbo region. Our project is a combination of open pit and underground operations that produce a blend of oxide and sulfate ores with an average grade of 1.03% total copper. Our vertically integrated site is fully equipped with all mining infrastructure and all necessary government and environmental permits. Our state-of-the-art solvent extraction electroweaving plant produces grade A copper cathodes that we export in the international market. In October 2017, Tres Valles was part of a transaction that ultimately made Sprout Resource Holdings the majority shareholder in our company. This was due to a divestment strategy held by our previous controller, Vecchiola, who actively participated in our project as a minority interest and mining contractor. The project was originally discovered and built by Vale, who invested in the order of $241 million. The arrival of Sprott has been extremely positive for our company in more ways than one. We are more internationally known, our network of potential investors has expanded, and we have adopted Canadian reporting standards and good practices. Since their incorporation into the company, we have begun the capital expenditure projects, which consist of expanding our Don Gabriel open pit mine, the development of our massive sector of our underground mine, Papomono, where we have the highest rates, and the optimization of our SXEW plant to incorporate salt in our leaching process. Through aggressively implementing all three fundamental projects over the short span of nine months, our current cathode production of around 6,000 tons per year will practically triple by the end of 2020. In order to facilitate the analysis of our company by foreign investors, we revalidated all our prior engineering studies with certified QPs through NI43101 standards. Between October 2017 and December 2018, we worked on engineering studies with internationally reputable companies such as Wood, formerly Amec Foster Wheeler, and independent mining consultants, IMC, from Tucson, Arizona. We first hired IMC to generate a new geological model and a block model for the Papamono and Don Gabriel ore bodies, as well as a mineral resource statement. IMC's measured and indicated mineral resources total to 18.3 million tons of ore at 1.03% copper grade, while inferred resources total to 3.46 million tons at 1.11% copper grade. IMC also produced a feasibility study for the Don Gabriel open pit with a seven-year mine plan. In parallel, we engaged ProPipe, a Chilean engineering company specialized in leaching projects to prepare a pre-feasibility study for implementing a chloride medium into our leaching process. We moved forward with this study after achieving excellent results from performing more than two years of metallurgical testing on our own ore leached with the addition of salt from bench to semi-industrial scale. ProPipe study concluded that leaching sulfide ore in a chloride medium will accelerate the recovery of copper from an average of 270 days to 160 days and will increase total recovery from around 78% to 88%. These PFS results were then integrated into IMC's findings in a NI43101 technical report, which was filed at CEDAR in March 2018. Soon after, we started a pre-feasibility study with Wood PLC. Their assessment included the underground exploitation of the Papamono Massivo sector and they also evaluated all other mining zones near Papomono and Don Gabriel in order to prepare a PEA that takes the exploitation of all our known ore bodies into account. Wood consolidated the PFS and PEA results with the previous IMC technical report in order to release a comprehensive NI43101 report, which was filed at CEDAR in December 2018. As shown in the technical report, Trace Valleys will produce around 113,000 tons of copper cathodes during its eight and a half year life. 
This is done through a vertically integrated process where our four-stage crushing plant crushes ore to 80% minus quarter inch before being agglomerated and trucked to the heap leach. Oxide and sulfide ores are segregated in the leach pads to optimize recoveries, yet both undergo leaching in a solution of water and sulfuric acid during a cycle that ranges from three to nine months. This process generates pregnant leach solutions from which copper is extracted and recovered at the SXEW plant, ultimately forming high-grade copper cathodes. Our three surface mines are each operated by contractor, the largest being the Don Gabriel mine behind us, with a capacity of 600 to 700,000 tons per month, including 60 to 100,000 tons of copper ore. Trace Valles is in the midst of expansion of the Don Gabriel mine, which will bring its ore production capacity to 2,400 tons per day during the first quarter of 2019. The Papamono mine is being operated during 2019 as a conventional front caving mine, producing high-grade ores. At the same time, Trace Valles is executing an interesting expansion project at the Papamono Masivo through the development and operation of an inclined block caving mine. This method will produce reserves of 3 million tons over a life of five years at an average total copper grade of 1.5%. Construction of this new operation has begun and exploitation will begin in late 2019. With both the Don Gabriel Manto and the Papamono Masivo zones in full production, Total crushed ore will exceed 5,500 tons per day for five years, optimizing the capacity of the current crushing plant. Despite these numbers being reached primarily from our own ore production, Trace Valles are also purchasing ore from local third-party miners. To supplement our own production, Trace Valles generate an important contribution to the territory by purchasing third-party ore from a small and medium-sized miners. In addition to us preferring local suppliers, this program has helped to activate the economy and formalize a small mining activity. In October 2017, our small scale miners agreement was renewed and signed in front of the Minister of Mining. This allowed artisanal miners to legally work on Tres Valles mining property, which fostered mining development in the region. The state has recognized our efforts with the local association of miners in order to achieve regulatory compliance and currently this agreement benefits more than 300 people. In addition to our program with the small miners, we directly work with each of the three surrounding communities through our Tres Valles Foundation. We also hold a tolling contract with the state-owned mining company Enami where we process their ore and return cathode on a contractual basis. Altogether, these are the means by which we achieve social license with communities and authorities, helping to make the project sustainable in the long run. Additionally, Tres Valles started an energy efficiency project last year that aims to bridge the energy management gaps in the medium-sized mining industry. This was made possible through the collaboration with the Chilean Ministries of Energy and Mining and the National Mining Society. Today, the present proven plus probable mineral reserves at Tres Valles total 8.2 million tons at 1.07% copper. Additionally, more than 100 copper occurrences have been registered inside of our mining properties, and some 70 of them have been worked historically by artisanal miners. This is an important source of geological information as the Papomono and Don Gabriel deposits were discovered in places previously worked by small-scale miners. This is among the reasons why we believe there is high potential of expanding our mineral resources and reserves in the medium term. We have already drilled at Papomono Norte and Cumbre deposits, and now we are drilling an area known as the epithermal ore body. In the coming months, we will also start drilling at the extension of several open ore bodies, such as Papumono Sur and Mantos Conexión. Finally, we have started a district-scale prospection that aims to select greenfield targets for scout drilling by the end of the year. Despite the bulk of our mineral resources today being in Manto-type ore bodies, which were the focus of previous exploration work, we have also identified three other types of mineralization, disseminated intrusive hosted, 
epidermal spile veins, and metasomatic. We look forward to developing new ore bodies of these mineralization types in our large block of tenements in the coming years.